Oh god, what is this music? What have I come back to? <laughs> Oh! Wait, what's going on here? Oh god, what is this music? Oh, what the I stream's on! Okay, sorry about that, guys. <laughs> wow! Okay, that's what happened. <laughs> so, um, while I restarted the stream, my Twitch window decided to restart the stream. And that's what, that's what you guys had to deal with. I'm so sorry about that. Double bun. Yeah, I was wondering what the heck was going on, and then I heard this guy. The, uh, the imposter that comes by every once in a while. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry about that, guys. Oh, look at this. We're bumping now. Oh, pardon me. Alter Mike killed out. Mutton took his place as the Novaro streamer. You never know if it's me or the imposter. We sound the same. That makes a grand total of six teams. Playing support warlock? Oh, awesome, Salty. Six teams, great. That way, there's there's actually no gimmies this time around. Solder the legend is born. time now we're gonna get started I still have three headgears to give away so don't go away yet guys all right looking at these teams it's looking pretty good Salder is dead. Yeah, poor Salder. Rip. Maybe we can start using Salder and branding. What do you think, Voltharn? Instead of instead of Harambe, because obviously, basically, what uh, Voltharn did and said, hey, we should probably stop using Harambe in 2017 because we gotta let the meme die or it's gonna get stale. And I was like, yeah, you're right. So we're gonna have to find someone else to kind of, you know, a little sidekick for me here. Because it's kind of lonely without Harambe. Uh, this corner here is just on its own, you know? Ain't nothing going on over there. Harambe in 2017. We won't see more salt about updates in that main. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Who
Who do I think will win? Ooh, I don't I don't know. I'll have to see how they perform in the first rounds first. Use Dieter because Dieter is kill. Uh, no, I don't think I'll be betting any money, although... I guess I could play with SK's money. I have like 4 mil from him. Did someone just fall magic decoy? Let's see if we got any super novices in the tournament. I hope not. That would be a very unfortunate team. Pair. So they're getting ready for the tournament. Uh, I think actually it's probably a good I good time to give away a headgear while we're waiting, and then we give the next one around the middle, and then of course the last one at the end. That way you guys stay for the whole stream, huh? <laughs> uh, this one will be. This one's actually going to be one for the um, Unbalanced fans. So uh, if you're if you watch my content a lot, you'll probably know this answer. Uh, so, and sorry, there are other, you know, RO quests in the future, don't worry. It's not all just going to be one balance question. But anyway, uh, let me type this out and we can distribute another hat. So the question is, what is one balance? One balance's least favorite class. <laughs> that was fast. Uh, you's got it with, uh, Ranger. Backpack! <laughs> Dang, I guess I can't. I guess I'll have to delete this once men balance least favorite gear. Yes, uh, I pressed F5. Yeah, so it is Ranger. There's several reasons for it. Uh, mainly just because they're boring. Like, I don't know. I feel like. They don't balance the gear, right? And on top of that, it's like, it's a class that while you're leveling, you have to deal with being ridiculous. But anyway, you get to thinking about your hat. And, uh... <laughs> Well, we'll uh, hopefully they they start this uh, tournament soon. This is exactly what I mean. <clears throat> I oh well, you don't have to avoid Ranger for me. It's just a preference. I don't like playing Ranger. It's really really boring to me. Even though like when it comes down to it, you're just clicking on a boss a bunch. It's, I don't know, it's the mentality, it's how they, it's like the way they move, the way they deal with problems, it's just really boring. Rangers did nothing wrong. Alright, looks like we're waiting for, for Deegs. But yeah, uh, basically Ranger is, I don't know, the, the White Wing suit, specifically the White Wing suit, is ridiculous. Their bows are ridiculous. Their weapons have always been ridiculous. It is only... Oh, Samurai Spectre card, what? 
Yeah, so they're revealing the uh, MVPs now. I all classic. I don't like it. Well, I mean, why not Aerostorm? Why not Zoidberg? I don't. Ranger. While you're leveling a ranger, is Aerostorm walk around? Aerostorm walk around. Now it has like the widest AOE in the game. And you have to deal with that as you're leveling other rangers around you that are accidentally killing your monsters. Even if they don't mean to, they're gonna. Because that AoE is huge. And of course, they're gonna do way more damage than you because their bow is ridiculous and their armor is ridiculous. The set is not that bad. I don't... White Wing Suit I don't disagree... Or White Wing Set I don't disagree with. But White Wing Suit I'm not a fan of. And then I feel like... Every bow has 50% range damage because MVP shaming. Uh, I feel like every bow has to have 50% range damage because Hunter Bow does. They could have just nerfed Hunter Bow. All right, so we've got uh, we've got a ranger. Speaking of ranger, double ranger genetic. Um, Mechanic and a cat versus Ashura, Shadow Chaser, Minstrel, Sorcerer, and Rune Knight. This is like the kind of team that I expected to see. Like, exactly. Maybe not Minstrel, maybe Genetic instead, but this is like a meta game right here. <laughs> you jelly bra? I am! I am, I'm sorry. There is an issue when you're getting like 30% range damage in your armor slot, and I get plus one all stats. That's not, that's not fair. That's not fair. Oh, here we go. All right, we got the red team playing a little bit more defensively, it looks like. Uh, but it looks like they're branching out now. Getting those Basques on. Warg Strike coming out. Oh, there's the, he running, in, running into his own trap. I don't know if that was his trap or from another one, but oh, there's the Cursed Circle. Oh, there he's crystallized. Are they gonna, are they gonna, oh, there's the Tiger Cannon, not Deegs, is out. It's 5v4 now. Yeah, I have, uh, three genetics, so I'm in the same boat. Oh, the down goes their mech. Ooh, and another one. Looks like they're just getting this cat now, just waiting for Stoop to run out. And yeah, it does not look like the Deegs team had too much ground to stand on. Alright, so, uh, kind of wish I had Harambe to help me narrate these matches. Six GXs. My goodness. Honestly, I've been wanting to farm GTB in ET for the longest time, but, uh,. Like, the only thing that's stopping me is that I would have to play Rangers. Like, I have the Rangers set up, but I don't want to play them. Basically, the, the strategy... The strategy for ET is you get a bunch of Rangers in one account, and then, you know... Rangers can one-shot GTB at, like, level 130. You just get in there, unlimited Aerostorm, get the next Ranger, unlimited Aerostorm, get the next Ranger, unlimited Aerostorm. And then you just farm GTB that way. Uh, what's the thing of 30% damage in your armor? White Wing Suit. White Wing Suit gives two times your refine in uh, in range damage. So if you have a plus 10, that's 20%. And you can enchant it with the, uh, you can enchant it with Expert Archer. It's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Slotted everything. It's White Wing Suits absolutely like the perfect example of what you are literally five years ahead of us, Ranger. Stop it. Good luck getting EA on it. I know, I know it's unheard of, 
but there's just nothing else that competes. It's not like this. It's hard to get an armor with plus one all stats, but that's the best thing we have. But yes, back into this. Okay, it looks like red team playing a lot more offensively this time. They're branching out. And we still got Deegs in hiding. We got this stoop, but he moves to stem spear. He's gonna, oh, no, he's not gonna stop that ranger from dying. Deegs wrecked. True, some people have plus 14, yeah. I've seen even plus 11s on Nova, and it's really hard to get pluses on your armor. Only the cat is left once again. It doesn't look like he's going to be left for too long. He's he's delaying the inevitable. I use the glistening jacket. Well, sorry, Deegs. Deegs going to losers. Let's see if I can... Uh, they have a... Oh, there it is. Okay. Here's the... Uh, if you guys want it, here's the ladder. It looks like... Next, we'll be watching a match of... Shiwatsu and Arua team. Uh, and whoever wins that is going to go up against Phantasm team. Uh, and it looks like teams that have previous winners are getting gimmies. Don't know why they wouldn't just put them in round one. But I guess they always give winners gimmies just to keep the, the first rounds not jokes. That's what he gets for using Rangers in PvP! Damn, savage. It ain't so good when, well, I mean, mo only recently have we got weapons that compare with Rangers weapons. times to get it's not hard I well there you go <laughs> 100k cash it's not hard I'm not saying I, like it's not hard it's RNG and it, it's slightly pay to win because Mora is that way <laughs> but uh, it's it's available for Ranger and no other class let other classes wear white wing suit just don't let them wear the set let them wear let them wear white wing suit that, I think that would be perfect. Everyone would wear it. I'm telling you, Genetic would wear it, Runite would wear it. Um, anyone that uses range damage, like Rebellion would wear it. Rebellion would wear the heck out of it. Like they're using nothing right now. <laughs> they have no viable armors. Like no viable relevant armors. Rebellion is struggling because they can't even wear They can't even wear Valkyrie armor. <laughs> they got... Yeah, let them let them wear white wing suit. <laughs> Bellion would be sick. And then, and then people say, no, Munbalanced, you can't put Fawz in the game. They're too overpowered. And I lose it because we've had White Wing suits since 2008. <laughs> Not really. I, Mora's after 2008, isn't it? I can't remember. I know 2008 was like renewal, but I, I forget how long it took us to get to Mora. Excellion suit is good. Oh, pardon me, I'm going to sneeze. No, mute it, Dibia. All right, I didn't. I muted it just in time. Like the second before my nose exploded. It was great. 
Excellion suit is good, but it's not as good as White Wing suit. What you're gonna see with Excellion suit is a lot of classes switching over, but not Ranger. Ranger is never gonna switch out of that armor. Demons be gone. Quad action lever, lever hitting 90k with White Wing suit. Hmm. It looks like we've got a little bit of a delay. One of the teams is missing someone. Hi, my game. I see you there. Thanks for watching the stream. Okay, it looks like we're ready. Celion suit rebel is going to be sweet. Yeah, I'm excited for it. I really hope that uh, I like I hate that mentality of let's not release something. It's overpowered a unless like there are some cases where it's true, but ooh, <laughs> attack attack speed suit default on most of my classes. There is no other source than IRO. Yeah. Hopefully they can find something. Uh, do we have any MVP cards this time around? I don't think so. No, it does not look like it. Ooh, right off the bat, meme magic falls down. Lots of the deathbound. Oh, there's an. Oh, no! <laughs> there goes the RK! Oof. What warlock is this? Ah, okay, it's M. Dut. Yeah, I'm really excited about uh, Excelion. But, uh, it's like. It's it's a small thing. I don't think it's, it's gonna be that big a deal. Yeah, it is a, a, a big armor slot buff, but. We're going from, like, sticks to, you know, we're going from, like, twigs to sticks uh, in the grand scheme of things. When you consider how far along boots are, how, how far along Garmin is. It's all that one balance logo. Yeah, oh, someone else had the login. See, I should just get like a really slow computer so that the the emblem goes in last when they warp. <laughs> that way, it's on top. All I want to do is farm bio labs. I don't know why you would want to farm bio labs. I like I've I've. I've wrestled with the idea, and I always come down to it being like, huh, that's probably, uh, n like, not very efficient. Unless you're doing Bio 3, but I don't want to do Bio 3. It's not fun. <laughs> Bio 3 is, is like fighting mobs with Earthquake. You have to approach them with oven mitts. It's, it's just a clumsy time. All right, looks like round two. Let's see if uh, see if this uh, other team can turn around. So yeah, we've got we got this Jenny, Warlock, Rune Knight, Shadow Chaser, and Sorcerer. And then on the other side, we've got Shura, Shura, Shadow Chaser, Rune Knight, and Warlock. Well, yeah, Bio Three is super easy with a party, but it's not that profitable it's not profitable enough for a party you know what i mean like you can't split that a bunch of ways and have it still be better than like gefenya all right let's 
see. Okay, blue team getting in there. Bloody Lust coming out. That Warlock doesn't want to be on it. Of course you'd have a profitable mentality. Azura Strike coming out, not getting a kill. Got Illusion Dopens going around. Everyone's upside down. Got Cursed Circle connecting with two of the blue team. Let's see if they can capitalize. Uh, looks like they're trying... No, no. That's... This fight. We got... Oh, we got some howling going on. This close confine. Weaknesses. Oh, full strip off. But see, they don't have a genetic, so they're just, like, memeing. They, they don't care. Captain Beefinator goes down, even though he won a hat. Illusion doping spam. The key is to have more green potions than your enemy. It looks like, oh, no, yeah, that vacuumed uh, sure is going to go down. Now it's just the RK they have to take care of. Yeah, that looks to be about it. <laughs> Round one, people. Throwing more alcohol than my uncle on Christmas. Damn. Nova bidding is broken. How is it broken? <clears throat> One bill. Oh, that's because you bet on a team that was more likely to win. You didn't bet enough to get a cut of the other team. Like, if it's 10 to 1 and you bet a mil, then... Or say it was like 100 to 1, you bet a mil. They can't really give you enough money back. Extra. You, you win based on the rates of the team's likeliness to win. It looks like we're going to losers back to the Samurai Specter card. Seems like a really silly MVP card to put on, but it looks like we've got, um, yeah, this team and, oh, okay, uh, oh, are we going to the next round? I'm a little confused. Don't mind me. Yeah, okay, we are going to round two. Yeah, so the team that won the first round, the fir very first match we've seen, are now going up against, uh, Team Syncope. Who is a, uh, I believe uh, has some previous winners in it. So we're going to see how they measure up. And how much their, their Samurai Spectre card can carry them. Although I'm sure it's not doing that much. Alright, so we've got both teams kind of playing defensively. Both staying to their side. Uh, red team seems to be pushing a little bit harder. And it looks like they're getting in there. Auto counter coming out, not getting a kill. Oh, we got some crystallized players over there in the top. Let's see, Dispel coming out, saving his teammate, but they're still a crystallized Shura. Nobody capitalized on it, they got away. Oh, and it looks like it looks like blue team's got to cut out. They've got they've got to beat they got to beat this four v five now. Bloody less coming out onto that uh, Sork. Who has glitched into the effect but can still cast skills. That's probably just a visual effect to rest though. Azura Strike coming out. Getting his blue team down. Does not look like they have too much of a chance. Yeah, see Nova explained it. Uh, if you were if you yeah, if it's stacked in their favor, you're not very likely to get extra. Get him! 
Get him! Don't let him stall! There we go. Alright, we just gotta deal with the Shadow Chaser now. Oh, there he is. He's in Cursed Circle. There's the Crystallize. And there we go. First round goes to Sin Team Sinko. So it does not look like that team knew what they were getting in there, getting into. Alright, let's see how they handle the next round. <clears throat> Do wait for next match. Alright, one team's ready. Alright, both teams ready. How's the how's the layout here? Sorcerer, wow, ninja. Yeah, that's a heavy pick. Uh, Ninja's got some one-shot potential, so I could see them being useful. MVP equals suck. Wow, it's actually stacked in favor of that, uh, of the uh, team that isn't doing so hot. Rip 60 mil. Oh, there goes Senko. So actually, blue team's taking it this time. Four to five. Let's see if they can keep it going. Ooh, he's really trying to get that minstrel. The Echo Song, though. Oh, he gets a... I think a Rapid Throw killed someone. Oh, here comes a Crush Strike. He's got it. He's ready. The Health Plants, though. He's in a CC. Here comes the Masquerades. Getting, that, getting rid of him. Yeah, Azura Strike with uh, with weakness. Not going to be able to tank that. So there's just two people left for the blue team. It's the Minstrel and the Shadow Chaser. Uh, possibly the two least defensive classes possible. Or offensive, rather. They do not have too much uh, pushing power, do they? Looks like our next match will probably be... Here, let me uh, get that. Okay, yeah, it looks like the next match is likely going to be uh, Team Phantasm versus Team Shuwatsu. Uh, and then we'll probably, and then we'll likely go back down to losers to uh, figure out who's going to take third. Or, well, fourth. No, 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 no. Yeah, whoever wins these are going to take fifth, then they'll go to fourth. Third, and yes. No, I am completely wrong. I don't know what I'm talking about. Don't trust me. <laughs> uh, well, just in, in essence, take third. <laughs> I 
an awkward moment when four of the NPCs want to marry Tengachi. Well, I mean, they're a dreamboat. Could you really blame them? Looks like we get. Yeah, I corrected. Correctly assumed. Team Phantasm versus Team Shuatsu. We got some anime girls in the in the guild emblems. And now uh, Angeling Hat. That's great. One to six. Ratio was MVP card, 69 Zenny. <laughs> you think it's taking the tourney? Uh, I'm, I'm honestly not sure. Uh, that team that we just seen there, uh, Syncope, has a good chance, I think. They, they're very meta and they're very, they're very long-standing good players. Oh, you're not too late, Helian. We're just through the uh, first three rounds, I think. Uh, th first three matches of the tournament, maybe more. Yeah, three rounds, okay. Yeah, we're just getting ready for this fourth round. Well, technically it's still round two, but on the ladder, it's the third match we've seen. It looks like we're getting started now. Got to open. Okay, so I want to look at these teams here. We've got a mechanic, we've got minstrel, Shura, sorcerer, shadow chaser, very meta. No genetic though, so they are open to stripping. Uh, and we've got rune knight. We've seen this team: rune knight, sorcerer, genetic, shadow chaser, and warlock. And this is yeah, this is M. Dot. This is a very powerful warlock. Thought it was like twenty rounds. No, no, no. We've only we've only done three. Well, it might have been a lot of rounds, but it was only three matches. No no MVP cards for Team Mr. Noobtard? Yeah, I don't think he has MVP cards that work on his mechanic. Ooh, okay. Uh, looks like Red Team's going in. They don't care. SD getting infuriate. Oh man, it looks like, uh, it looks like... Oh, MDOT's trying to take it with, uh, Intense! Ooh, they, he almost got it. He almost evened the match right there. It looks like, no, they're on him now. They don't care. <laughs> like, whatever. I don't care about your bubble. But yeah, and then there's the Ignorance. Diamond Dust. All it needs is a good offensive follow-up now. Although they do have the mechanic that isn't going to be of too much use now. I guess he can still throw axes, but other than that, he doesn't really have uh, too many options. Now, all they really have to deal with is the, the really strong Warlock, who's going in again. He's going in again. <laughs> He's really trying. Uh, and then this... Uh, this Shadow Chase are very possible. Uh, oh, he's getting ready for a Tetra. He's crystallized, though. Let's see if... Oh, no, there he goes. That meltdown. So, yes. Uh, this is pretty much in the bag for Team Phantasm.
That was a really good SD. I think he got like two kills with that. That doesn't... Oh, okay, yeah, they finally got him with the cloud kill! Just crystallized and it's over. <clears throat> well, you can be immune to crystallized now. It's a legit build. I don't know how many people are running it, but I'd per I personally would never not run it just because of how how effective crystallized is at getting kills. All right, we got one team ready. The, the, the Warlock team might want to stall as long as they can because obviously they have uh, IT on cooldown now. <clears throat> but it looks like they're ready. Uh, if you have 100% water immune, Diamond Dust won't hit you so it can't crystallize you. So if you just need 100% water resistance, which isn't hard when you have gear like Mark, you know, uh, Valkyrie Shield, uh, on top of like, you know, uh, Mars card... And then a cold proof potion. You can look back at my old videos. Uh, back when I did, well, I did the build, but it didn't mean crystallize back then. It's a recent update. So it's even, it's an even stronger build now. But, oh uh, yeah, same teams. Let's see what can happen. They don't have IT on that Warlock, so they have to be careful. And SD might be on cooldown for the... <laughs> about them Fallen Angel Wings. I did mention them in the pre-stream, but I haven't mentioned them on this stream. But yes, uh, same teams, let's see. SD might be on cooldown, I forget how long that is, but uh, I'm for sure, I'm sure about IT being on cooldown. Right, team. Blue team kind of getting in the corner now. Red team all over them, all around them. Got a curse circle on the red. Ooh, okay, no, only killing the, the Hom. Uh, yeah, but the Strofa. Oh, Phantasm goes down. It's 4 5. It's 5 4 now. Strofo crystallized does not last very long. There's a lot of masquerades flying around. People trying to get their bu their debuffs in. Now, blue team is down a shadow chaser, so they have a much less presence than they did. And damn! Oh, there goes their sorcerer. But then you're vulnerable to wind, aren't you? Not really. Uh, you just don't have as much resistance to it. Uh, the cold proof potion does make you a little bit vulnerable, but in like whoa. There isn't too many threats that are wind, and you can always swap uh, to wind resistance if they, you know, establish as a meme on you. But it looks like red team's going to take this one. All that's left is SK here, uh, who's just kind of sliding around. All right, so we have a uh, basically tiebreaker match where probably both of their cooldowns are going to be back up. So we might see what happened in the, 
So we might see what happened in the first round once again, or it might turn out differently. We don't know yet. Mark does not make you immune to crystallize, but it does have 5% water resistance on it. <clears throat> and it's a card you'd probably want to use in PvP anyway. So you got, you know, Vault Shield, Mark, Mars, and then you can put, um, oh, what what's the cards? The headgear cards of Bluestone? Oh, I forget what card it is. Mark gives you immunity to free uh, to like regular freezing, but not crystallized. But the five percent water resistance does help. Need to crystallize hit <laughs> gets hit with baby or spear. That's not gonna kill you though. Usually, like, what what you have to worry about is getting crystallized and then getting hit with wind, but if you don't get crystallized, the only thing that's really gonna meme on you is, like, a out-of-the-nowhere, uh, like, amped wind tetra from one of the best warlocks in the game. Otherwise, you don't really have to worry about wind element too much. Ooh, we got we got a bloody lust. Then that, that uh, what is this warlock? No sorcerer, stuck on there for a while. Oh, waffles fallen. There goes their sorcerer. So blue team has to play with a swork. That's that's it's hard. Sorcerer is such an important class. Oh, their minstrels crystallize, and ooh, there goes. <laughs> he gets he gets infuriate again with the SD. But now that in the see now there goes the other two. Oh wow. They're actually doing it. Blue team turning it around with the SDs. It looks like this might be the strat. They have Solix they have uh, intense telekinesis up though. And it looks like they are just kind of bullying this uh <laughs> the warlock. And it, yeah, it is the exact same uh, from before. Ooh, but we got crystallized mer uh, minstrel. Be careful, keep that warlock under wraps. It is a masquerade fight. It everybody is getting their face painted today. And it looks like the war the sure goes down. Ooh, and there goes Mega Man. Unfortunately, they could not contain the bubble. No, I'm not I'm not attending the tournament, just just hosting it. Sorry, man. I have a hard time playing and streaming at the same time. It looks like Team Phantasm gonna go down to losers bracket, and we might actually see them next. Actually, they might actually have another round to do. So already we know in the semifinals we got Team Syncope and Team Shuatsu, two teams that have shown uh, that they can overcome the odds, by which I mean beat the other teams. <laughs> we got a pretty thin losers, we've just got Team Phantasm and Team Not Deegs down there. Oh actually no, I am scrolled, now yeah we've got... <laughs> Akashi Z and Arua. So we've got two rounds in losers uh, to figure out who is going to go back up. And then whoever loses the semifinals will be the guardian of the losers bracket. And they'll have to go up against them. It looks like we are going to see Team Phantasm again with uh, Team Not Deegs.
GTP. Ah, <laughs> oh, this is Muscovy. I like this song. Shadow Chaser makes so much of a difference in battle. Yeah, Shadow Chasers are extremely really good PvP. Extremely really good PvPers. English is my native language, by the way. Those are only bosses I can beat. Orc Lord. Ooh, getting waiting for these teams to get ready. So how about this weather, huh? <laughs> Meanwhile, in the Big Bang Theory... Gross, Toke! Don't watch that! Both teams are having issues. Shall tears on. Toke, actually, actually, watch the show. Toke, you might want to work on that sentence a little bit. Oh, yeah, this is this is a pretty good song. RL music is so good. Like, so much better than any other MMO. And then you just mute it and uh, put on, like, K pop or something. <laughs> but yeah, RL has one of the better, mu better soundtracks. As far as uh, teams aren't announced yet, well, we can predict, sir. But yeah, the main jobs that are going to make a huge impact in this, uh, in my opinion anyway, is the Shadow Chaser. You're going to have your Shadow Chaser, your Sorcerer, are like the two things you want to keep alive. Uh, and then, of course, you have your offensive classes like Shura and Rune Knight. That's why they're so meta. And then, of course, wow! <laughs> Shaltir joins the fight! So I wonder where the bets are going to go on this one. No, no free hammer time. <laughs> Solder card.
That slot machine. Free solder. See, now that's something I can, I can get behind. This, this game needs more meme fountains. Solder card. Salt here in a party? We're having technical difficulties. Oh, looks like we're about to get started. Finally, yay! He did nothing wrong. Except get banned! Damn! All right, let's see what we got here. Uh, as usual, we've got our minstrel, war or Shura, genetic sorcerer, and an RK. And on the other side, we've got a new edition Shaltier. Plenty wrong, and we'll never return. Alright, so it looks like we've got uh, a little bit of um, people getting boating towards the Talgunka, it looks like. There's that dragon howling. That's bound. Ooh, not connecting. Shaltir has fallen. Oh, just like that. Well, so much for that Tau. That long Azura strike. Not, not getting a kill. Apparently, Shaltier was 90% weight. Well, they should have dropped that card. And Tau not carded. Dang. <laughs> well, so much for the Tau Gunka. Now we've got a 4v5. Everyone's just all over, kind of playing their own game. Oh, there's the Azura Strike. Getting the. Uh, oh, taking it down to 3 to 4. Looks like blue team still has a handle on this. Surrounding the RK, basically treating it like a like a dang dinosaur from Jurassic Park. Ooh, there's a cross strike and we're down to 2 to 4. But let, let's move the chat out of the way. All right, let's see. Oh, we got we got some I hear I hear house plants, but I can't tell where they oh, okay over here over here bam 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 they're getting that warlock they're getting them they're trying is this what PG looks like all right everybody chase the warlock one to four even with this shocking inclusion of Shaltier it does not look like they could handle the might of the blue team. And Tao's secret effect is making you 90% weight. <laughs> PvP tournament greater than work. Hashtag call in sick. I actually need to move this. And, okay, scary music. Let's not with that. Hey, here we go. Hey, 
<laughs> Can't greater than tell. Confirmed. We have proof on video. All right, I, I wonder if uh, more people made betting in the tournament than they did in the slot machine. We'll never know. Shameful. All right, so. Same teams. It looks like uh, Shaltier's casting things this time. So, uh, yeah, just uh, don't open a box of potions. Oh, sorry, I hit the desk, guys. It'll be so much better once we get the uh, once we get the the mic arm. So for those of you that weren't here at the start of stream, I actually did get a microphone stand, but it's not here yet. I got the pop filter, but not the stand. It's 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 quite a tragic story. So we're still using the box. Uh, for those of you that aren't aware, I record with a box uh, under my microphone, but I'll get into that later. Let's see this match. All right, looks like they're kind of spidering around each other. Not seeing any stacking from either teams, uh, but it looks like Me Magic goes down. So red, oh, yeah, red teams at a disadvantage once again. Even with, uh, wait, is Shaltier on this team? No, okay, that's not the Shaltier team. No, yeah, it is. They're right there. <laughs> okay, so even with the Shaltier and the red team, it doesn't look like they're doing too much. Oh, but here comes Shaltier. They gotta be careful. He's gonna get it. Oh, the, the sword. Don't let him crush. So yeah, it looks like everybody's just gotta fight Shaltier now. Who is uh, using the Vellum Katzbalger to try and kill. But it does not look like it. Tal Gunka loses. That is a first. I never thought I'd say that. <laughs> Wow, what a twist. All right, so yeah, I am using a cardboard box to hold up my microphone, uh, and I have to lower my seat to the lowest setting so I can actually, you know, sit down low enough for it. <laughs> or else, you know, it would be way up here. You guys wouldn't be able to hear, hear me. Uh, so yes, I did actually invest in a microphone stand. So, streams after that would, uh, obviously wasn't ready. Jeez, you have jealousy in your voice. No. I never thought I'd say that in round one of losers, okay? <laughs> you guys pressure me on everything. Alright, so before the next match starts, I'm gonna go refill my water real quick. Uh, and I think around this time we might be giving away Hager, but... More on that later, I'm going to leave the and the AFK thing off, so in case it does start, you guys can still see it.
All right, looks like I'm back just in time. Oh, it looks like the uh, two other losers teams. So yeah, we've got Team Phantasm and Team uh, Team Phantasm and Team Not Deegs. Ooh, looks like a uh, elemental shield, but no one's in it. <laughs> oh, close and fine. Getting in. Oh. oh, looks like they're. Yeah, it looks like blue team's getting it. I mean, by by getting it, I mean getting killed. Oh man. Yeah, that that did not uh, didn't last too long, did it? I didn't even know which team was red, but hey, red team did it. Yes, that is a team with two rangers. Uh, I don't know. I don't know about Deeks. He's really into rangers. It's it's kind of a problem. We've tried to get an intervention, but it just didn't work. He's just still a ranger. It's Let me pour out the Tau card for a quick sec. Can participants be PM'd? I'll get messed up, but you should have that disabled. For serious PvP. Every time we got a group together, he would just arrow storm and arrow storm us and TP away. Yeah, poor Deegs. Hooked on R. R for Ranger. Although it, so it sounds more like a drug when you say R. <laughs> or, or range. Ooh, spooky. Let's move on. Alright, this is fine. Alright, so red team is Team Phantasm? Yeah, it is. Okay. Oh, here they go again. That huge, that huge, uh, Curse Circle. Getting, like, two kills out of it as well. Crush Strike coming in. He's not killing with it. Or not, not Crush Strike. I mean Ward Strike. So many strikes in this game. Oh, well, Stem Spear coming out. They're not getting any kills. But Blue Team is slowly diminishing to one cat. Dragon Combo meme. You guys can do it. It's just a cat. It's a sing. It's a singular cat. A cat. <laughs> Card strike. Please. I want a strike skill. They're usually powerful. Azura strike. Crush strike. Warg strike. Vital strike. <laughs> This poor cat. Mod, it's just a cat. There you go. Alright, so it looks like Team Phantasm is gonna go to the round two of losers and fight Team Akashi Z. <laughs> Alright, so... We are about halfway through this tournament. What do you guys feel about getting another headgear down here and uh, into one of your guys' pockets? Smooth. <laughs> mm 
Next question should be how many players still have strike in the name? All right, so uh, all right get ready for the next question and whoever wins can pick up the the headgear they want in between rounds, so don't worry too much about it. But anyway, get ready. Here's the question. Drum roll. At base cooldown, how many GX would you need to keep Dark Claw on a monster permanently? Oh, Bunny, Honey Bunny got it with the 12. Only one because the mob dies. Yes, 12 is correct. So each Dark Claw lasts for 5 seconds and has a cooldown of 60 seconds. So you would technically need, you need 12 fives to make 60, so there you go. Yes, a, a party of 12 GXs could keep Dark Claw up permanently. They would just need a lot of choreography. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, honey buddy, you got it. So go ahead and peek in the Novaro cash shop, figure out what 5,000 CP headgear you want, uh, and I will get that for you. Probably best to wait in the uh, in the BG room. All right. So yes, this is a completely new. Match with Team Phantasm versus Team um, Arkea Z? Akashi Z, okay. It looks like they're all around the SD, gonna take out two. Oof. Alright, alright, so they, they are fighting five to three now. Uh, they don't have a useful mechanic anymore, but. They did get two kills off of that, so that is definitely what they're going for. Their sorcerer is down. Now it's two to five. One to five. Good luck, Mr. Shura. I know you mean well, but on your own, you're just not going to cut it. He died because of the Inca Inca Drain. <laughs> All right, so round two. Whoever wins this is gonna front losers bracket and fight whoever loses in the in the semifinals. Can I change my bet? Uh oh. This man's not happy with his choices. This team gets me PTSD from the close you claw. Oh, the the Alberta or no, it's Alberta, isn't it? And then the theme ended. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Whatever I hear that, it's like, oh, it's summer. Oh, um. Honey Bunny, you should tell me your in-game name so I can, uh... Yeah, it's probably better just to type it anyway. <laughs> Not count as a member of the red team has disconnected. All right, so this match isn't even counting. 
Um, you can whisper me on... Well, in game... Well, I guess either way, people are going to see your name in game, so I'm sorry. But uh, you can whisper me by t uh, clicking on my name in the... I believe you can. Man, I don't know how Twitch works. Yeah, you can... If you click on someone's name, there is a little message box you can send a whisper to. Uh, you might... If you if you don't want people to know your in-game name, I suggest making another character, and then you can just trade the tad over. But either way, people are going to see you on the stream, so there's no avoiding it. <laughs> but yeah, I just need the name. That way I know I'm not giving it to some random person that just says that they're you. Not once I saw a single diamond dust. <laughs> Alright, so it looks like we're gonna get a rematch now. Ooh, actually, they, I think they have SD back up now. They might. Say, they might have to fight SD two times in a row because of the DC. That's kind of unfortunate. Okay, I just made a character named Honey Bunny. Okay, that's good. Just uh, come outside to the BG room and I'll give you the headgear. Just... Go through the cash shop and show, you know, pick what one you want. Oh, okay. It looks like red team's taking it. Again. The unknown. Okay, the SD is out. But I don't think he got anyone with it. Pretty sure it, it floundered. Oh yeah, you might wanna wait, no, you can be traded too, you just can't trade in a little level. Never mind. Alright, it's two to five. Looks like red team's gonna take it. A two to one or five to one. And there we go. Team Phantasm takes it with very little struggle all right honey bunny I don't see you yet so um sir for a while it's so fun oh that's great I'm glad I uh I'm glad I could convince you to join the server it's it's a really good server it's Pro it's easily the best server like I've ever played. Uh, I would say private server, but not just private server. It's better than IRO, and I played IRO for years. Uh, pretty new. I was wondering what decent cat would be. Rolling cutter at 119. I can't use Thanatos yet. If you're at 119, oh, I just 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 level, <laughs> just get the level. Uh, there's really nothing else that's that good. Uh, just get as you know, like the best store-bought Katar you can get, and get that level. It's not worth fighting it and getting a whole new weapon. You're just going to replace it. Crimson's pretty good, but if it's not refined, you can probably get a better thing, you know, somewhere else. You're probably better off using, like, a level 4 weapon or something. Oh, okay. Yeah, I can give you your hat now. Use. Where's that skull cap? There it is. 
set. Oh, the headgear set. I don't think it's that good for genetic. Like the it it's it's interesting, but it's it's not enough attack. There you go, use congratulations. Oh, there's Honey Bunny. All right, let's see what hat Honey Bunny wants. Yeah, you can have as long as you want. We're still streaming until the end of the tournament, so take your time. Whenever I see people suggest to get a plus 50 group of new players. <laughs> but I'm going to have to go for the next match. So take your time and decide. Uh, I'll check on you after the next round. Alright, looks like it's starting. Yes, okay, it's Team Syncope versus Team Shuwatsu. Uh, okay, we're back in winners. Back in winners bracket. So these are teams we've seen before. We've seen them be very successful. Competitive Ragnarok, you know it. The only rule uh, for as far as gearing goes is that you can only have one MVP card, and it is it's uh, it's told to the other it's told what MVP card you have before the match. So your team can have one MVP card for the whole team, uh, and you and it it tells you which card they're using. Five v five, still no AP. Oh man, I broke 400 maces getting mine to plus 5 or plus 10. Uh, be very, very careful. 400! <laughs> I made an image of uh, Crimson Mace going in a wood grinder because of it. Oh, so 5 of 5. The ninja trying to get a kill here. The Shadow Chaser does not care. Everyone's just super tanky. Oh, there it is. The Crush Strike gets a kill. And it looks like the Avaro's down. No more Ninja to worry about. Where the mech's at? There was one last round. Uh, they, they, they're they going to fight whoever went, loses this match. We 350 Sumyo staffs. Oh, and Fury goes down. Ooh, that that manhole. Womp 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 womp. <laughs> yeah, it's basically like three to one. Uh, but it doesn't look like they have enough DPS to kill the Rune Knight. And there he goes back in a manhole. <laughs> Fluffs, you're so rude. Uh, no, I didn't use Enriched. I was just using normal wars. Uh, with a whitesmith, obviously. Oh, he's free from the manhole. They are just like... <laughs> There's no way you're killing that rune knight with plants. You're gonna have to get a crystallize. Oh, there's a crist. Okay, they don't have to keep putting them in manholes anymore. If we applied our rates to Crimson, they would flood and inflate the market completely. Inflate completely the economy for weapons. Well, I mean, they already make a lot of the higher end choices irrelevant. There, there it is. Get them. Just like that. Turn off your potting, you're done. Gonna wait for Divine Pride to data mine the real drops for Doran weapons. 
Well, at least it's it's safe. You're not getting too much. You're not getting more than you should. Considering the class shouldn't even have gear yet. <laughs> I'm kidding. Foz came out before cats. <laughs> All right, yeah, Team Sencope wins that round, so... If they win the next round, then it's going to be Shuatsu against Phantasm, and I think they've had that round before. Mm, yes, actually, in uh, round two, and they won two to one, so... Uh, hopefully, uh, Phantasm can... maybe find a new strategy for that team. All these guys asked as if I had a Tech Wild Ranker. Uh-huh. <laughs> we got Foss too, they're just mega exclusive. That doesn't count. That doesn't count. That's not real Foss. Alright, let's see. Let's see what happens this time around. Official game abbreviations. <laughs> they can because uh, the robot faws are completely irrelevant. All right, both teams kind of pot shotting each other with diamond dust. No, no crystallizes. Ooh, that that sork sitting down, getting weaknessed. They don't have a shield on. They're hiding. They're not having any of it. Oh, Diamond Dust coming out. Getting brave. Getting brave. Ooh, there goes... Pardon me. There... Pardon me. There goes that Aboro again. Oh, wow. Well, <laughs> blue team, bye. <laughs> bye, blue team. Sorry about your team there. I don't know what happened. <laughs> A whole lot of crystallizes. And this is why we do the 100% water build. It's a little unconventional, but you've seen what happened there. Crystallize is absolutely deadly. Do it. Do it running. It's a really good server, man. Yeah, if you have 100% water, then Diamond Dust won't hit you, and they, therefore you can't get crystallized. You just need 100% water resistance. It's it's a legit build. It's a little unconventional, because you do take up your garment slot and stuff like that, but like considering how deadly crystallize is, it's pretty good. Ten years ago... Well, uh, RO has changed significantly. Keep that in mind. Uh, you just have to get a bunch of uh, resistances together. So you get your Mars card, Valkyrie shield, stuff like that. But you need to make 100%, so... Uh, can Sorcerer be immune with the elemental skill 100% reduce the water? I'm not sure... <clears throat> I'm not sure, uh... Which skill? I'm not sure what skill that refers to. Basically free vanilla RO.
No, that's not... It, it's not that way. Uh, basically, once you get 100%, you're immune. That's it. You're immune to water. That's all there is to it. <laughs> Alright, we got a little bit of a kerfuffle in the middle here. Someone got howled, and now they're dead. Fire coming down on the genetic who is howled. Uh, with an era. He's silent breezing himself, getting him free. That crystallized, though. Yeah, getting a kill with that. Looks like red team's ripe for the taking of this. Uh, yeah, there goes philanthropy, and fluffs goes down as well. Uh, yeah, five to one. Yeah, it does not look like blue team has too much legs left. <laughs> hey, I'm glad to hear it. Glad to hear it, ba bigot. I hope. Th is that actually your name? Big O, I'm, I don't know. The biggest sounds like a bad name. Like it's something you would call someone as an insult. Yes, level 2 Aqua and Defensive Stance gives you 100% water resist. I didn't know that. Well, yeah, that'll probably make you immune to Crystallize. Yeah. But there are better, like, Sorcerer assistance. As far as I'm aware, I don't know. Aqua dies quite a bit. <laughs> Alright, we're going back to losers. Team Syncope lost that match, so they're going up against Team Phantasm. Aqua has made a paper. It, it's not as reliable, unfortunately. Uh, but... Yeah, if if it is 100% resistance to water. Oh, okay. Well, thank you, Mustache. I'm glad you're enjoying Novar as much as I am. It is absolutely the best server I've ever played, and I would never go back to IRO either. Just based on what I've seen. I haven't played it in years, but mm, it's not looking so promising. Yeah, it should immune crystallize. It's just not very reliable because that pet is really, really killable. Yeah, Ventus is really good too. Doesn't it give a bunch of Vix reduction? I remember Ventus being pretty important. I Like, I've never played a sorcerer. The only thing I know about sorcerer is just from guildmates. Uh, quit IRO. I was like, screw leveling over 99, takes eternity to get one level. Well, Nova RO is a 25x server, so it is 25 times faster to level. Alright, we've got Team Phantasm in blue and Team Syncope in red. Oh yeah, that's pretty ridiculous, isn't it? Yeah, there's no way you could live without that. Rebirth in like two hours. Not new player friendly anymore. <clears throat> yeah, the economy is absolutely garbage, so. All right, looks like the... Oh, we got a Cursed Circle already. Diamond Dust flying around, no one getting crystallized. That ninja... Hipper lay. <laughs> Think it's leveling events, yeah. That's pretty bad that you need an event to level. Ooh, someone's in a manhole! Uh-oh, take screenshot, let's go. Oh, that reckless magic ninja. It's still five to five. Everybody's just kind of CCing each other. There's the first crystallize. Is, is it gonna do anything with it? Yeah, it looks like they did. And it's just turning into more. 
That whole blue team is messed up. Yeah, it does not like look like blue team's gonna come back from that key crystallized. And all they've got is a mechanic. And down he goes. Womp 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 womp. Free money. <laughs> The Alchemist just legit legally bought it there all day. Drink every time gets. What do you mean? What do you mean, Mun gets runaway magic wrong? All right. <laughs> Let's see this round two. Let's see if blue team can pull something out here. I think they got a potential. They just got to avoid those crystallizes. Surprised that no one's running 100% water. Especially supports. Uh, Lucky Day is better than Runaway Magic? No, I think Runaway Magic is better. It's, it's a little bit harder to pull off, but it is much more DPS. Ooh, blue team in a predicament there. There's a whole lot of crystal... Oh, they got two with that SD. So they're playing three to five now. They got a crystallized sorcerer though. Looks that that uh that looks like a dragon. Oh, it's three to four now. They got their minstrel. Her circle coming out, tiger cannon, not even killing the weakness to uh, mechanic. Everybody's upside down. No one knows where they're going. That Oh, there's Crystallize. Ooh, and there goes another blue team. So they evened it out. Fought uphill, and now, now they got an even fight. And now they're slowly taking it away. It's much more easy to activate. You can rely on it more. I guess so, but you're comparing like a 10 to 20% damage bonus to like literally double and you can rely on um you can rely on reckless magic it's just costly uh you might not see it a lot in my videos because it does cost a lot of magic it's a bunch of sp all right so it looks like we're going up to the finals uh team shuatsu versus team syncope grand finals All right, we're gonna find out what Honey Bunny wants for headgear. Oh, twin bunnies for sure. Hats. Let's see here. Twin bunnies, there they are.
Da -da -da -da. Congratulations for winning a question. That CP. All right, looks like the teams are getting ready. We got to get in this finals. Who's excited? Who was excited? The Sedora card. That message from Nova. Where? Oh, rewards distributed. <laughs> Perfect timing. All right. So after the finals, I will be la asking one last question, uh, and then we're then that's going to be the stream. So stick around for the final round. I don't know why you wouldn't want to watch the finals. The whole reason we spread the, <laughs> the whole reason we spread the headgears out so you stay for the whole thing. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's Shuatsu versus Sinko. We've seen these teams perform very well. Uh, team Shuatsu. I think only lost to Team Sinko last round. Or no, no, no. Team Sinko only lost uh, in the semifinals, and it was one to two. So these are two very evenly matched teams. Neither of them have MVP cards. Uh, so we are in for a fun, close match, hopefully. Damn. We have not seen Team Shuatsu uh, halter at all this tournament. They've done nothing but win. So <clears throat> hopefully uh, Team Syncope can refine their strategy because they're going to have to win. Uh, this is best of five now, so they're going to have to win a bunch. They're going to have to win a bunch. They're going to have to reset the bracket, so they have to at least win uh, six games. Ooh, okay, we got a bunch going on in here. We got we got IT up. He's getting chased by genetic though. Oh there oh there he goes! IT white in prison. Not gonna survive that. And it looks like it's three to five. Let's get this out of the way. Looks like blue team's poised to take this. They are for oh there's a crush strike and there we go it looks like just one red left poor uh poor sorcerer there and yeah it looks like team shuatsu is taken this by storm <laughs> wow i have not seen that gif I'm gonna repost this for you, Hiromaru. There you go. That's what you missed, guys. <laughs> That's pretty good. So if uh, Team Shiwatsu wins two more matches, they're going to be the winners. Uh, of course, Syncope is going to have to win three matches just to reset the bracket, and then they're going to win another three. Guess the men's in the wrong memes, Discord. I forgot to bid. Oh, pardon me. Let's see how this spread is. I want to see how the bids are. Uh, probably going to be more to more towards Shuatsu. Since they have not won in losers. Oh, 
Do, 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 do. She wants or did win the first round. So I've only got to win two more. And then the tournament's theirs. Wow, two, 286 versus 60, 16 mil. Oh my God. 16 to one. Oh, we got, we got some pings. Oh, there goes, there goes M dot. All right, we got a lot going on in the middle, but it's just kind of contained in the cursed circle. All right, the genetic is free. He's planning back some. Ooh, there's magic from that ninja. There's a lot. Oh wow, <laughs> Hell's Planet's coming out. Not get not enough DPS to kill. A lot of people are just kind of waiting for crystallizes. Uh, just not enough sustain to kill on their own aside from Crush Strike. That ninja can get some pretty, uh, pretty hard rapid throwing. Uh, I would like to see Final Strike from them. It does not look like they're in that build. Looks like they're going for a casting rapid throw build. Oh, a bunch of crystallizes over there. That uh, sorcerer basically 2v1ing. But it looks like blue team's down to two. And it looks like Team Syncope is going to take round two. One for one, they're all tied up. All right. Sork couldn't carry. Well, you need some follow-up DPS. Uh, Sork shouldn't be expected to kill the people they crystallize. Team too heavy. All right, get ready. Hype, one to one. We are. They are not giving it. They're not giving it up. They're fighting till the end. guys come on while the hype is hot all right once again we do have team uh yuashu in blue and we've got team syncope in red again red team is in losers bracket so they have to win this and they have to win two more rounds and then they reset the bracket uh finals are best of five so they need to win three Both these teams are not giving up any land. It seems just like it just seems like whoever gets the better plays that round is going to win. All 
All right, team, red team, team Senko going much further out, uh, much quicker, but it looks like uh, blue team taking up that land, taking up that much of the stage as they can. Oh, and already they lose the ninja. Oh, it looks like they've got bubble for this. Hell's Plant's coming out on that, that uh, hidden, <laughs> that hidden warlock. They are keeping their eyes on him. They do not want him to come out and sweep. Oh, it looks like he's coming out. He's stuck in thorn traps. <laughs> All right, he's, oh, there it is. He's going, he's coming in for it. Oh, there he goes. There's a kill. Oh, the, oh, it's getting everybody. The soul expansion. And there's the Tetra, not getting a kill with that. Oh, and it looks like they've just got, uh, it looks like they've just got a Shadow Chaser left. Just fluffs. And it looks like Team Shiwatsu is going to take another round. They won't have IT up for this, but they'll have it for the next round. So if, if IT is really defining this game, they're going to win. This does not look like the... It does not look like Team Syncope has too much to deal with their Warlock uh, when they're that powerful. Ha! <laughs> I get it. I like that. I like that, Sirik. This one guy really wants Team Syncope to win because uh, obviously you're going to get 16 times your money if you do that. Uh, if they do win. Gonna be poor kid! <laughs> Damn! Uh, what does it mean, Igno? It's the... Which Shadow Chaser spell? Max Masquerade Ignorance. Yeah, I'm, uh, that, that is an edit a part of the Unbalanced GRF, just to make masks uh, much more, like, visible. Because the original effects are really, really bad. Uh, they're all masks. They're all, like, face. They're faces. <laughs> I hope Syncope loses. Well, that's, that's a pretty pessimistic way to go. Um... Personally, I'd be happy either way. I just want the the most the most entertaining matches we can have. Senko, do me a magic, please. Happy Mask Man from Zelda. Well, I am not, but Shadow Chasers might be. All right. So this could potentially be a match point, uh, but of course Team Shuatsu does not have their IT up this time, so uh, they are going to have to play around that. They can't just sweep with uh, Soul Expansion. Uh, newer attitude. No, that's not part of the GRF. That's just something I did on my own. Um, it's not part of the GRF because I, it's it's kind of buggy. All right, so uh, of course, oh stasis coming out. They don't have an AB though. Oh, but it looks like they've got two already. The, <laughs> the clutch stasis coming out. Looks like the other team does all got hit by it. Yeah, maybe a little disappointing, but it, it kind of looks like Shuatsu's got this in the bag. The crush, oh, yep, the crush tag takes out Fluffs. Uh, and here goes the Warlock and just the, the genetic left. And it looks like Shuatsu, <laughs> looks like Team Shuatsu is going to win the tournament. Uh, it's, it's in a file. 
if you come to the Mud Balance Discord, I can tell you a little bit more about of it, uh, a little bit about it. And I won't tell you too much here because I don't want people to go in and edit this file because it can very easily crash your game. <laughs> so come on down to the Mud Balance Discord if you'd like to hear about that. But anyway, uh, thank you guys for enjoying the stream. I still have a headgear to give away, so uh, let's find you guys another question, shall we? Oh, okay. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Uh, this is actually going to be part of the new Rollab coming up. Uh, this is uh, Rollab 4, for those of you that watch my YouTube content, you know what Rollabs are all about. All right, uh, just wait. I've got to ask one more question. Uh, and I actually have to type this one out. Okay, balance one on two, th five twenty k. But congratulations, team. Uh, man, I I am bad with their name. I'm sorry. <laughs> congratulations, team Shiwatsu, on winning the tournament. That was a really fun tournament to watch. You guys looked like you were right neck and neck for the whole tournament, except for uh, you know. At the end there. <laughs> but anyway, this question comes right from Rollab 4 before it's even done. The script is uh, still in the works. But um, it should give you a good idea on what might be the content in the next Rollab. All right. This is almost done. And here we go. How much luck do you need to immune? Cri blind curse, freeze, poison, silence, sleep, stone curse, and stun. Now, keep in mind I said luck. No, you, you guys are not getting it yet. Yes, you do, Aliqua. <laughs> uh, luck has a, a very small amount. Oh, wow, Honey Bunny gets it again with the 300. All right, so basically all of the pre-renewal statuses uh, have their time dictated by how much luck you have. And if you have 300 luck, there may be, but we're not 300 sets. And that's, that's technicality. It's how much luck you need, and it's very possible to get 300 luck. Anyway, <laughs> because of all the pre-renewal stat statuses having their time dictated by luck, Having 300 luck technically makes you immune to every status because every status is going to last zero seconds But congratulations, honey bunny. You want another you want another hat? So uh, yeah, take your time figure out which which other hat you'd like It's possible a lucky day, but there's that <laughs> But yeah, uh, it is 300 luck and that's gonna be part of the rollout But yeah, thank you guys so much for coming out. If you'd like to watch my YouTube stuff, Twitter, all that's down below. I'm out of my voice. I t we usually end the stream about an hour to go, so I'm pushing it at this point. But yeah, Honey Bunny, you might want to come back and get another headgear. <laughs> Thank you. 